Back at it again. Happy Monday. Happy hot lap. It is May 6th, 2024. Um, today we're going to maybe have another true hot lap. We're going to time it. That's kind of like a time attack, I guess. Uh, start the time already. Three, two, one, boom. Like I said, May 6th, another hot lap. This still sitting here. Um, shop update. We are making progress in here. We are making a lot of progress in the shop. Uh, we have the second lift installed. We just have to wire it up. Come and take a look. Come and take a look. Hot lap. Hot lap. Freshly painted. Arms and posts. Secured in the ground. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Huge update here. The alignment rack is finally installed into the ground. Minus the laser. We have to wait for a hunter to install that. But took us about two days to uh, measure this out perfectly and get it the way we want it. So alignments will be back in action by... Frankie says Wednesday. Hopefully he's right. Hopefully he's not lying. So Wednesday the 8th, alignments will be back in action. The best alignments on the East Coast, Faction Motorsports. Uh, what else happened this weekend? This weekend was uh, Single de Mayo, so happy Single de Mayo to all to Single de Mayo to all who celebrate. It was also May the 4th. So all you Star Wars heads out there, may the fourth be with may the force be with you. That's what they say. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> um, ooh, final bout special stage East was this weekend in West Virginia at uh, what what track is that? Uh, I don't know. What track is that, Frank? Summit. Summit. Summit Point. Uh. Shout out, to, I found out uh, Hayes Drift Team won, so how to, shout out to Hayes Drift Team. Applause, thank you, Chris. Thank you for the applause. Yep, they won, Frankie. KBD and all. <laughs> shout out to Hayes. Uh, Ready Set Drift Clinic was this weekend also. Shout out to RSD. And Club Lose No Fear Moves is this coming weekend. Uh, shout out to all those people who registered. C group drivers, this is your event. You get that track time. Uh, Carl and Daryl will be out there driving. I don't think Chris is going anymore, right? Maybe. Maybe. So it could be Chris. Well, it's going to be Carl, Daryl, and maybe Chris. Watch out for Daryl. Uh, he finally finished his uh, Toyota Soar with the 1J. Freshly done. Looks sick. And Carl. I think he's still fine-tuning his car right now, but he shouldn't be making the event. Um, he got the 1J and the, the IS. It's lit. They're about to be are already 1J brothers. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, oh, the YouTube channel finally reached 6,000 subscribers. We are only, yes, we are only 94,000 away from 100K. That's nothing. <laughs> Why'd you laugh, Frankie? Make it happen, people. 94,000 away. Uh, woo! Yeah, we want that plaque, that silver plaque. We're gonna put Oreos on it. Says we're gonna put platinum or silver? 100k? I don't know. It's shiny. <laughs> um, regarding hot lap number four, last week's hot, hot lap. Um, Jordy, the Giants, uh, regarding the NRG seats, they do have FIA certified seats, so my bad for that one. Well, Chris should be saying my bad. Uh, thank you for the uh, fact check. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Ooh, Mike DeFusco podcast uh, last week. Really, really good podcast. That's, that has to be top 10 podcast right there. Really informative guy, real, real genuine, funny guy. 
Really enjoyed his presence. Uh, the on uh, YouTube comment that BMW dude six nine six nine says great job on great job on the pod, fellas. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate it. We appreciate the love. Um, uh, sour sour D, dang, that's a throwback. Sour D says anyone who mentions Cardo Main is a real one. Yes, sir. And Mike Stansko uh, replied to that. He said he's showing his age with that one. Yikes. Uh, Moonlight Drivers 6528 says, Love the podcast. Always good laugh, great conversations, always great amount of knowledge. Please turn up the volume. I can't hear it at work. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you for the love, though. We appreciate that. That's why we do this. Um, we, well, Chris actually filmed a YouTube video last week with Eddie of the new HKS electronic valve controller. Um, with Ricardo's car, his Silady. Very nice, informative video if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, SRMX518, he has a question. I'd assume this is a standalone unit. Uh, can, can you run with stock ECU tune as long as you safe, as long as you safely up the boost at your own risk, question mark? Wish I could answer that for you, so let's ask Chris. Chris, Chris. What? Um, uh, SRMX581 has a question regarding the HKS EVC. Uh, I'd, I'd assume this is a standalone unit, question mark. Can you run with stock ECU tune as long as you safely up the boost at your own risk? Yes, sir. So, you don't need a tune? Depending on how much boost you put. Ah. Ooh, because, let's skip ahead. I remember there was a question... Uh, from World's Best Filmer. Uh, do I need a tune to run the HKS EVC controller? Just want a little more boost. You could run, if it's an SR20, SR20, you could run 12 PSI, no problem. I would just set the timing to 15 degrees, a little bit more fuel. One JZ, you can go all the way up to 14 PSI, no tune. That's it. Thank you for the info. Beautiful. And uh, Shmi Gore says, nice and tight, regarding that video. Yeah, it's a Connecticut homie. Oh, yeah? Connecticut? He's got a C18DT S13 coupe red. Shout out, Shmi Gore. Um, oh, we also released a, uploaded a Instagram reel with the HKS, uh, what do they call that? Intake filter, intake panel filter. Something like that. They, they made a, they have an extra word in there somewhere. But uh, Andrew Evans says, K&N much better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, Pexi intake panel thing. Yeah, but then Andrew Evans commented, K&N is much better. You're a troll. You're a troll. Uh, Joseph Whittle says, plus 0.5 horsepower. Amen. Plus is a plus. What do we got going on over here? These guys working. Damn, Frankie's moving into his new corner. Look at him. The darkest corner in the shop. Yeah, the yeah. dungeon. Yeah. Uh, so just like every week, uh, Eddie put up a prompt on the Instagram. Just ask us random questions for this hot lap. Tony Sandoval asks, Z parts? Question mark. Send us some suggestions for Z parts, and we'll. See if we can source them and upload them to the website. Uh, Ricky X Sand Seven says, "Will there ever be another season's greeting video?" I'm gonna say that's a negative on that one. Frankie claims it was a trilogy, and now that trilogy has concluded. Just three parts, and that's it. Maybe, maybe there'll be some type of other holiday video. Doesn't have to be Christmas related. Maybe Halloween. Maybe Halloween. <laughs> Spooky sh**. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Alan Kyle, uh, y'all got 326 powered lug nuts in stock? Maybe some cool harnesses? He's trying to get some. Well, Alan, you were just here about 30 minutes ago, and you picked up two Cusco harnesses and some merch. Thank you very much. Uh, Beastie Boy E46, can we get a lurking Chris? Look at him, look at him in the wild. Look at him. Mm-hmm. He's lurking. He's lurking. 
<laughs> oh, sh he sees us. Get out of here. Get out of here. Um, Nikki, Bobby, how much ass do I got to throw for an alignment? I mean, yeah, Chris says all of it. Maybe we need to align those cheeks once you're here, too. But uh, like I said, Wednesday, Thursday this week, it will be up and running. So hit us up. Hit us up. Got a lot of people on the, uh, in line for the alignment, so I'll be calling you guys soon. Uh, Lewis, EG6, what has been the biggest challenge of the expansion? I think we answered this maybe a couple hot laps ago, but time. Time is our biggest obstacle. Um, like I said, installing just that one alignment rack with Frankie's uh, obsessive compulsive personality, he measured those studs, the distance between the, the posts about maybe total, probably for about six hours. I remember one day he measured them for three hours straight. And that takes a lot of time out of the day, so. The time is our biggest enemy with this expansion and money, obviously. And the amount of people we have helping. We can't have a lot of people help because then we got to pay them. So it's just us doing this, you know? And some professionals doing their professional shit, but whatever. Uh, do work, says Type-X bumper fits with origin wide, bo origin wide body front fenders. That sounds like a question for Frank. Hey, Frank. Oh, SR20. Too loud. Frank. What? <laughs> Do, uh, does a Type-X front bumper fit with Origin front fenders, like wider fenders? I'm gonna say no. Technically, yeah. Would it look good? <laughs> it all depends on how you install it. It does, it's, yeah, it fits. Okay, but how it looks is on you. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> All right. Michael Cohen says, best motor from our RX-8 that I plan to use for edging in? I don't even know how to answer that. I don't even know what that entails. <laughs> uh, jerk, jerk705 says, what makes... Oh. Yeah, his, his name is Jerk705. This is for YouTube. <laughs> uh, Jerk705 says, uh, what makes Raceway Park so good? The track. The track. <laughs> Frankie says the track, duh. duh. Okay, that's a good enough answer for me. The community, the, 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 the environment, the, the camaraderie. camaraderie. The camaraderie. The, the, just the whole setting, the energy, the energy. It's the track. Thank you. Sue B664, when will Frankie finish his car? Never! <laughs> Jesus Christ, shut the f up. Well, that was the answer I was expecting. Uh, the stag wag. When is the faction meet? I keep this on the down low, but we, we're thinking about having a little grand opening, a little car meet once we really finish, once we really finish the shop. He, he thought of it. He, he knows what I'm saying. Uh, Ren, Ren Girio, Ren Girio, I can't say that. Do you guys plan on doing any track circuit racing, racing, track slash circuit racing? Frankie said no. Um, if I had the money to build a grip car, hell yeah, I would. Tell the truth, you just want to, you just want to do NASCAR. NASCAR would be sick. If I was a circ oval racer, that'd be sick. I'd be a road racer too. I feel like I'd be a good road racer. I racing taught me a lot. C class license, you know, I'm there. I'm good enough. Well, that's it. Thanks for hanging out at Faction Motorsports, another hot lap. Check the time now. That's the time. That's the time. And then I'll do the closing. 14.03. That's pretty good. Wait, is that good or bad? That's five seconds more. Ooh, five seconds more. So I'm on time. I'm on time. Um, well, thanks for hanging out. This is another, get me in front of this sign. Maybe this way. Yeah. That's another hot lap. Oh, Jesus crossing. 
Um, yeah. Look out for next week's video. And this week's video. We should have a video coming out on Friday. Look out for this week's podcast. Who's the guest this week, Frankie? We don't have one. We'll figure one out. Carl will figure it out. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for hanging with us. And we'll see you next week. I hang to the right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> see you later. Uh, you have a pose I should do on this uh, outro for the freeze frame? Alrighty, I'll do this. Here we go. <laughs> See you guys later. See you next week, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. That hurt. <laughs> he said he's gonna hit his head. I'm like, no, he's not. He's gonna high five it. And then he fing rammed his head into it.